Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is another Tuesday and if you didn't already know, every Tuesday I upload an Ask Say segment. So today we are going to answer questions that I am taking from the comments from the last Ask Say segment. If you haven't watched that yet, I'll have the link in the information box. The first question is from Charlotte Likup and she asked me about PICOS or Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome. So I was diagnosed with this, I, I believe, a year ago and I was treated for like six months. So my ob gave me like birth control pills and that was the only way to like regulate my menstruation and it just basically made the PCOS go away. And the symptoms of PCOS is weight gain and um, before I had like a bad case of acne that wouldn't go away on my jaw area and that is one sign that you have PCOS if you have like you know really big acne that won't go away on the jaw area but now I am clear now my problem was when I took the medication or the birth control pills which is at that time um, the Yan 35 it made me gain more weight and it wasn't the weight that you can like burn off after just a few exercises it wasn't so it's as in, sa katawan talaga siya na parang ang hirap hirap i-burn off. So, I was really frustrated with that. But, the good thing about birth control pills is that your skin clears up. My skin was crystal clear. As in, sobrang ganda. It, it made me, like, look really blooming. But, yeah, I really didn't like the excess weight that it, you know, put on me. And, um, after six months, I went in my doctor's clinic again for another transvaginal or ultrasound to see if um, my ovaries are still like polycystic or whatever um, and then I was clear okay na ako, wala na akong picos so my ob told me that you know to avoid picos I have to watch my weight I have to like you know watch my weight and you know work out eat right sleep right you know drink water and all that you know the basic stuff so yeah, just basically take care of yourself. I really don't want to go back to my birth control pills medication because um, I heard from some women that if you take pills for like a long period of time, it would be very difficult for you to have babies in the future. I remember getting emotional and crying my eyes out over the littlest things. I read on Facebook and all that stuff. And it's all because of the pills because, you know, it alters, I believe, your hormones or something like that. So not good for the body at all for me. The next question is from Emilu's OC. Hi, say my question is the pansin ko you always use Uber. Di ba may nabili kang car na Honda? Kamusta yung car mo? My car is no longer my car. I sold it. Um I just don't really want like excess expense on my part because it um I don't know, it drinks up gas. I hate dealing with um it breaking down. I hate getting it repaired, so it's. I believe it's not. It's not time, you know. I have like a lot of things going on right now, and I don't want a headache. So um, yun. I sold it, and I'm pretty happy without it. But you know, we have Uber, but uh, I hate Uber right now because of the surge. So yesterday I was at Robinsons Manila, super near where I live, and I had to take Uber home, and there was a 2.8 surge. And I ended up paying like 524 while I should have like paid only 160 for a normal fare. So that's what I hate about Uber. But yeah, maybe in the future I'll be able to buy a brand new car. In the future, in the far, far, far future. But right now I'm just focusing on other stuff first. And as long as I have Uber and I have Mark to drive me around, it's okay. Next question is from Janina Ira Bueno. I have to say, if ever you get a chance to travel, what place do you want to go? Or where do you want to go? My plans ba kayo na mag-migrate sa USA or other countries except Philippines? I love you, I have to say. Pansin mo naman ako. Hi, Janina. So, if I would travel... Uh, I don't really have any plans of migrating to other countries. I'm not sure why. But I really want to live in Japan. I want to try living there for like um, six months or what. I just want to experience living in Japan because it is one of the most beautiful countries I've ever been to. And I just fell in love. As in, sobrang gusto kong tumina doon. I don't know what it is about it, that country. I just love everyone there. It's so clean. Everyone's so courteous. Lahat. Sobrang ganda. So, um, if ever I get the chance to travel, I, I want to go to a lot of places. Number one on my list is Greece. Oh my gosh, Greece. I love Greece. I want to go there. Um, I don't really know because it's a lot of But in the Philippines, I want to go to Philippines and then Asia. 
you know, I want to go back to Palawan, to Bohol, and other stuff, other other places. There's a lot of great places in our country, I know that, and I just really want to um, be able to go around the Philippines talaga, as in matur talaga yung buong Pilipinas. Sagad lang, gusto kong sagad sa mga, sa may bagyo, di ba? I want to go to Mount Pulag, yung mga ganon, sobrang daming kabonggahan. Next question is from Jo Neil Pasqua. Sis, if you were given a chance na may offer sa na broadcasting sa TV, papayag ka ba? Like TV anchor? Um, I don't really have any background um, with uh, broadcasting. And I'm sure you guys know that I stutter a lot. Not stutter, but I... I speak weird. Alam mo, nagmamadali akong magsalita na parang hindi mo na magindahin sinasabi ko. Like what I just did right now. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if broadcasting is for me. But I think if I would be offered like a, you know, travel show or whatever, I would do it. I would I would love to do it. Yun. I tried it once. Nung nag-film kami for um, Bus TV, when we toured around Rizal for the churches, I tried it. It was so frustrating. Uh, kasi may script ako sinusundan. Of course, you can't butcher you know, you, you cannot butcher the information that you are given, right? About the churches and all this stuff. So, yeah, it's just really frustrating because I have good days and I have bad days. There are good days when I just, you know, really want to speak a lot and clearly. But there are bad days when I just want to speak a lot and clearly. It's hard to speak. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if um, broadcasting is for me. So, that's it. This one is from Rowi Danganan. Hi, Miss A. Ask ko lang if ginagamit niyo pa rin ni Mark yung Japanese na whitening soap, Yamashiro soap yata yun. And if effective ba siya? I'm gonna answer this especially for you, Rowi, because it did not work for us. It did not. And I stopped using it after like two tries because the Yamashiro soap made my skin super duper dry to the point that it felt very itchy. So I stopped using it. And I don't really need whitening for my skin. Si Mark lang gusto talaga magtry nyan pero it did not work on him as well. So we both stopped using it. And yeah, it did not work. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I should like ask for our money back. But you know, din ay din namin kasi pero hindi siya nagwork for us. This one is from Anna Luisa. Hi Miss A, can you whistle? If yes, can you do it in the tune of your current favorite song? I cannot whistle. Di ako malo na whistle. It's so difficult, I don't know why. Next one is from Abby Espiritu. Do you still ask money from your parents? I don't ask money from my parents anymore ever since I moved out especially. Um, I live on my own. I work, I earn money on my own, I spend money for my own food, electricity, rent, and all of this stuff. So I am basically like living alone, living on my own. Meg Bartolome asked me, Hi say may I know what model is your new laptop? I actually have it. Right here, this is the Dell Inspiron 15 7000 series. I'm not sure if that is the um, model name, but it's 15.6, and I love it because it's red. It has like a lot of red stuff accents. That was yung ano to, ito, The material is rubberized, so yeah, I really like it. I've been using it, you know, every day to watch movies and other stuff, so I really like it. If you pay in cash at PC uh, Express. You might be able to get it at 48,000 plus. Now, I see a lot of people here commenting about my skincare, like what my skincare routine is now because they notice that my skin is getting clearer. Um, honestly, I've been just getting eight hours of sleep a day. I've been drinking more water, and just recently, I quit eating meat. So I don't really eat pork, chicken, beef. Um, fish anymore. I think this is my fifth day of not eating or if you or by the time you watch this I would have been like over one week of not eating anymore any more um, meat. I'm not sure if that is a factor to my um, improving skin condition and I've just been really religious with using my face mask from Habadise or Hadabise, the one from Crazy. So I really like it. Let me show you. So I've been using this one just this one for the past couple of days and I believe this is also one of the biggest factors of my improving skin condition. So, it's all in one, guys. This one is from Richie and Villacorta. If ever you have kids in the future, do you plan on including them in your vlogs like it's Judy's life? I definitely want to continue vlogging until I, you know, get married and all of that. Um, I'm just not sure when will that happen because I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready for a family, so... Yeah, but I, I would definitely include them. It's really fun. This one is from 03 Kenjoy. 
Paano po nag-start ang friendship ninyo ni Judy and Benji Travis? Do you still communicate? I'm a huge vlogger fan po ninyong dalawa. So, I met them. I first met Judy um, during her very first meet and greet here in the Philippines. And then during their second meet and greet, we grew closer. Um, I was able to like co-host Judy's um, meet and greet. And yeah, ever since we've been um, keeping in touch, we've done collaborations in the past. I'll have the links in the information box. Sobrang awkward ko pa noon. Sobrang nene pa ako noon. Parang sobrang starstruck. Because Judy is one of my biggest inspirations. And like doing a video with her, it was like beyond. So I really, really love Judy and Benji because they're so down to earth. And they became like family, you know? Yeah, even Tita Nini, sobrang bait nila. They're really, really good people they're amazing so do we still communicate the last um the last time we talked to each other or spoke to each other via i think facebook or twitter was when i headed to japan for the beauty bound asia event and i found out that they are also going to japan but the time i was flying back to manila it was the time they were landing in japan so nagkasalisi kami hindi nag-abot yung oras namin so we ended up not you know, seeing each other. So, so sobrang sayang kasi I really wanted to see them again. And especially the kids because Juliana, I haven't seen her. The last time I met Judy and Benji together, that was way back in 2012. Yeah, that yon. Wala pa si Juliana nun. So, I really look forward to meeting the girls someday in the future. And yeah, they're really good people. They're amazing. The last question we have is from Tracy Tenorio. How do you earn from YouTube? So there are a lot of ways on how to earn on YouTube. So it's either you're alone or you're with a network. So in my case, I'm with Style Hall, which is a network I've been with for like five years now, ever since I started. Or it could be like alone. You could um, use like Google AdSense or something like that. So you can earn in a lot of ways. You can earn through sponsorship, through ad placements. Um, yeah basically through views but it really depends on on your contract with your network or um if you're alone i'm not really sure how it works when you're alone because i've never tried it before i've always been with my network so yeah that's what i've been used to for the past couple of years and with that um yeah it's by earning through the views per thousand views and um, um ad sponsorship paid videos, advertisements, and all that stuff. So those are the questions for our Ask Say segment for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and thank you so much for supporting Ask Say Tuesday. I've been getting a lot of comments from you guys every single week, and I'm so happy, and I'm really, really sorry that I cannot answer everything because um, in one video, I get like a lot of questions, and it's very difficult to like, you know, squeeze them all in one video. So we're going to spread it all out. Just keep commenting your questions in the same video or in the next Ask Say segment so that I can see it. Just use the hashtag Ask Say Tuesday. So that is it for our Ask Say Tuesday for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!